by the way, I, I was in this facilities during the COVID. And to my surprise, facilities were not closed, but half empty. Because mm -hmm. during the COVID, they took some of them, you know, families took the loved one parents back home. But some of them, you know, maybe they didn't have condition, were paying for their room, but they visited it every second week. Like they've had even, you know, certain room for people mm -hmm. who live in different states. They have different states and need to spend maybe night or two on a weekend visiting the family. And kind of, you know, I didn't have such a feeling like in the hospital, you know, mm -hmm. when even in Canada, like it's kind of clean, but it's a different feeling. So when I was thinking even about myself, and it's very important, specifically if you know that, you know, your children, you're going in lo alone to the new country, but there are facilities and there are the people and Mexican working even more. It's a business for them, but I really following such a project for active living and for assisted living in Mexico. That's really good to know. I, I had no idea. And for that price difference, I mean, that that just sounds sounds perfect. But look, there, there are some, I'm speaking about particular, but Lake Chapala, it's not, it's not a cheap place now to live. And I've been in another one, which looks like five star, uh, all-inclusive hotel. It was mm -hmm. Spanish chain uh, uh -huh. in Puretaran. And it was, I think, around 3,000. But they have gym, pool, you know, uh, a restaurant room, like different <laughs> levels. <resort. laughs> but it was still, you know, 3,000. It's a big price for uh, Mexican, I mean, for certain for middle-class Mexican. But it was still affordable for Americans. 